Hello everyone, my name is Vijay and in first video we have seen what is a matrix and what are types of matrices and the way of writing, denoting it. Now, there are certain more things uh, on matrices. The next topic is operations on matrices. Operations. Like with numbers, we have studied addition, multiplication, division, subtract and, subtraction, etc. Now, when we say adding two matrices, because when we say adding two things, we generally mean numbers. So, if we say adding two matrices, it needs to be defined. So, let us understand. Here, we are going to understand three uh, operations on matrices. Addition. Uh, the second thing is a scalar multiplication. And third operation is product of matrices. So, let us understand addition. To add two matrices, suppose there are two matrices. Let A is equal to, suppose, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. Can you guess the order? Yes. Till I write this matrix B. Suppose it is 10, minus 5, 6, 11, 12, and 13, suppose. So here, we want to define A plus B. Suppose there is one matrix A of order 2 cross 3. And another matrix B of order 2 cross 3. Note that these two orders are same. Then only their matrix addition will be defined. Then the addition of these two matrices is denoted by A plus B. And is given by, it will be a new matrix of same order. And is given by, what you do? To write these all entries, you add the respective entries of a and B and write it here. It will become 1 plus 10. This will become 2 plus minus 5, 3 plus 6, 4 plus 11, 5 plus 12 and 6 plus 13. So this is called as matrix addition. And this has the same order as matrix a and matrix P. So this is addition. The addition means entry wise addition. In symbols if you want to write you can you, you can see in the books it is written in this form. Suppose Aij is M cross N and B is a matrix Bij of order M cross N then the addition will be denoted by A plus B and whose entries will be Cij M cross N where Cij will be what? Cij will be the respective elements of A and B and addition of them. Right? This is his matrix addition. Now, next operation. The next operation is scalar multiplication. Scalar means numbers generally for our syllabus. Scalar multiplication, suppose there is a number 10 and there is a matrix A, any matrix. Then when we multiply a number with a matrix, we call it a scalar multiplication. And let us see how the multiplication works. Suppose this A we take from the previous example only. Then 10A we define by multiplying 10 in all the entries of this matrix A. So if we write 10a, we multiply 10 in all the entries and this becomes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This becomes 10a. So a scalar multiplication means the number gets multiplied with all the entries. Right. One more thing we can see. Suppose uh, let a is... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 cross 2 matrix. Minus A, if you want to write. So minus A means minus 1 multiplied with A. And it will become like this. Right. So this is called as scalar multiplication. One more operation let us understand. And then we will talk about their properties. The next operation is product of matrices.
Now to understand product of two matrices, see here are some more things we uh, need to take care. That product is defined only on certain conditions. Suppose there are two matrices A and B of order, suppose A has order M cross N, then B should have order of format N cross P. So are you observing something here? This are same means number of columns in matrix A are same as the number of rows in matrix B. Only then A into B will be defined. Defined means defined means will, will be possible, will exist, right? Then A into B will have order M cross P. Right. So, pehli baat to hamko ye ek important cheez samaj ni hoki. That if A has order N cross N, B has order N cross P, matab ye matching matching, then only matrix multiplication of A into B will exist and AB, the final product matrix will have order M cross P. Now, how the matrix multiplication will take place? Let us understand with this example. Let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has order 3 cross 2. Let B is equal to 2 minus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It has order 2 cross 3. Now, can you see whether A into B will exist or not? Check. Same. Number of columns in A is same as number of rows in B. So, matrix multiplication A into B will exist here. Now, how A into B will take place? But let us see. The final order will be how much? The final matrix A into B will have order 3 cross 3. Let me write here. 3 cross 3. Now, to write its elements, the first row of matrix A will get multiplied with first column of matrix B. So multiply the respective elements. 1, 2, 2, 5. So 1 gets multiplied with 2. Then plus in between you write. And 2 multiplied with 5. Right. Then this, this will take uh, the position 1 comma 1 first entry now first row second column this position will be taken by now you take 1 2 and minus 3 6 so it will become 1 into minus 3 plus 2 into 6 and the next entry how we will write 1 2 first row of matrix A and the last column of matrix B you take. So 1 gets multiplied with 4 plus 2 gets multiplied with 7. Right? So this makes the first row. Now how to write second row? You take second row here. And do the same process. So 3, 4 gets multiplied with 2, 5. 3, 2's are 6. Plus 5, 4's are 20. 26. Right? 3 minus 3, 9, 4 into 6, 24, 24 minus 9, 15, right? 3, 4, 12, 28, or 40. Then how to write third row? Third row also. Now you take 5 and 6 and keep multiplying with 2, 5, minus 3, 6 and 4, 7 and write them here. So 5, 6, right? You can write yourself. So this is the way how we write matrix AB. Now, obvious question arises, you must be thinking that whether B into A will be possible or not. What you say? Criterion is same, right? Let us check. B, A will exist or not. Order of B here is 
2 cross 3 and order of A is 3 cross 2. They are same. Number of columns in P and number of rows in A. So B A will exist. Will exist. Then to write B A, you can, you have to write B first and after that you have to write A. Right. Then final matrix will have how much order? Will order, will have order 2 cross 2. Right. And what will be the entries? 2 into 1. 2 minus 9 plus 20. Here it will be 4 minus 12 plus 24. Here it will be 5 plus 18 plus 35. And this will be 10 plus 24 plus 42. Right. And you can simplify. And you can write the final matrix. B A. So here matrix multiplicate, but not necessary every time, right? Because these things should match. Now, if num, so the conclusion is if if A B is defined, it is not necessary that B A will be defined always. Here it was possible. Now the next question arises whether A B and B A are same. A B is equal to B A. See, finally AB has order 3 cross 3. It has 9 entries. And BA order is 2 cross 2. It has 4 entries. Two matrices are equal if and only if they're all the respective elements are same. Exactly same. When their orders are not same, how can they be same? So certainly they are not equal. So AB not equal to BA. It is uh, multiplication is not commutative. Multiplication is not commutative. Now, this was about product of two matrices. Now, let us understand there are certain more things, properties of these three operations. Now, what properties? You must have heard some laws while studying real numbers. So let us see properties of addition first. Suppose A and B are matrices, two matrices of suitable order. Suitable means same order for, for uh, matrix addition to exist. Then A plus B will be a matrix of same order. Suppose the order was M cross N. Then A plus B will also be of same order and cross it. This is called as closer law, right? Property is also known as closer property. Suppose there is one more matrix C, then the next property is A plus B plus C is same as A plus B plus C. Sorry. A plus B plus C is same as A plus B plus C. This rule is called as associative law. Right. Means without changing the position. We have not changed here the position. But you can group them in any manner. You can take A and B first and then you can add in C or in the other way. Both are same thing. And this easily can be verified with the help of example. Now third property that A plus 0 matrix is same as 0 plus A and is equal to A. Right. So often we say 0 is where 0 will be of M cross N order. Right. 
So here we say zero is additive identity. Zero matrix is is additive identity. One more that A with a certain matrix if you add either from the right side or from the left side then you get a zero matrix. Can you guess what maybe that matrix? That is minus A. Minus A means minus 1 into A, a scalar multiplication. If A and minus A you add in any order you get zero matrix. So here we say minus A is additive inverse of A. Right? The next property is that A plus B will always be same as B plus A. You can change the position. It is very clear because entry wise addition takes place and entry is a real numbers here. So real numbers follow commutative law for addition. So of course A plus B is same as B plus A. So here we this law is called as commutative law or commutative property. So these are the properties for matrix addition. Now let us see for the next operation scalar multiplication also some properties. Properties of scalar multiplication. For this, let A and B are matrices of suitable order. Let K is a real number. Then, suppose there are two constants, two scalars, K1 and K2. Then, K1, K1 is a number, capital A and capital B are matrices. So K1 into A plus B is same as K1A plus K1B. Just like your distribution law. Another property, K1, K2 multiplied with A gives same result as K1 gets multiplied with K2A. Right? Something like associative property. And one more property that k1 plus k2 these are real numbers when takes a scalar multiplication with a it gives k1a plus k2 a. right these are the properties of a scalar multiplication now uh, for product properties of product properties of product are in the same pattern we can see a plus b a into b may not even exist so closer law is not defined for for matrix multiplication but this exists that a into b into c is same as a into b into c associated matrix multiplication is associated here, I have not written what are orders of A, B and C, but order should be in such a manner so that the matrix multiplication should be possible. And then they, it will follow associative law. Right. What about commutativity? A into B. Already we have seen A into B is not same as B into A. Right. Identity. Yes, there is A, I is equal to I, A is equal to A. For when A is a square matrix, right? Otherwise, I should write separately. I A I is equal to A. I A is equal to A. Where I is identity matrix. Of what order? Of suitable order. Suitable order means 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3, whatever depending on A, order of A, so that matrix, matrix multiplication should be possible. So these all are the properties of uh, these operations. Uh, thank you.